Dia tahu kan ada fly lah. Saya tahu, tahu. Semua tahu. Semua hmm. tahu. Semua tahu apa? Oh, tak ada ni lah. Tak ada lah. Dia pun tak ada lah. Dia orang dah ada tu lah. Ya. Dia dengar tak? Dengar, dengar. <coughs> dengar, dengar. Dengar. Wah, oh, dekat restoran ni. Tak, tak, tak. Tak, tak, tak. Tak, tak, Dengar jelas tak? Dengar jelas? Jelas. 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 Hmm. 
Hongkong. Dengar tak? Dengar. Dengar. Okay, Dengar tak? Uh, Sebelum nak beritahu, ini sebuah pesan lagi untuk cik online. Jadi tak kerasi lagi. So, plan my best. Uh, orang lama dia punya online tak pandai so, Kalau dia punya orang lama orang baru dia punya tekstur mungkin dia biasa eh. So It's okay uh, Kita go through Tengok How is your best Okay, you want to know eh Dengar doktor Berapa orang semua ni? 38 oh, Slide nampak? Nampak doktor? Semua nampak eh? Ya. Yeah. Tak doktor nampak. Uh, you are year 3, we are introduced to you respect to examination eh? Okay. Um, okay lah kan. Everybody say their organ is more important kan. So as I always put respect to examination is the most important part of examination of any patient. Well, Kan you all pakai stethoscope everywhere kan Stethoscope yang zemin biasanya lung kan Heart kan Personally abdomen Tapi your stethoscope is your symbol Everywhere, you tak dalam kereta pun Everybody knows you are a doctor Betul tak? Betul Haa ah, stethoscope, kadang-kadang polis nampak stethoscope pun Oh doktor je, pada student je lah lepas-lepas-lepas Ya, yeah. laku tak? Haa <laughs> Laku. Laku. Nah. So yeah, that's a privilege you have lah eh. So dalam examination, okay, you, dalam, if you go to the ward, what is the most common one common pathology you all notice? Dalam ward in respiratory, in, 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 in pediatric. Is the lung? Respiratory. Respiratory. More than respiratory. Half, more of or the patient and the there is due to respiratory problem eh? and even they have something else also kadang-kadang they affect the respiratory then even the COVID-19 the main organ involved, respiratory system involved is the respiratory so respiratory is lucky or not is very important in children because majority of the pathology that involve in children involve the respiratory eh? so in units you start by abgas score ballot maturity assessment to tell you the maturity of the lung and then you cannot last outside eh, without oxygen in a few minutes without damaging the heart the lung and the brain and also the eh, your uh, uh, ability to live eh? that's why lung like you or not is one of the most important system that you have to know eh? so there are many function of respiratory system eh? like breathing and gas exchange defense function metabolic function depositic function filtration function and the crime semua the kind of is minor lah eh? tapi the most important is the, the above three eh? But we're not going to go about the system, eh? You the one you'll learn later. You'll learn doing your uh, one and two, eh? Today we're going to uh, to understand how to do how to do the respiratory examination, eh? Comprehensive way. We cannot open the system, eh? It's from the nasal cavity until into the eh? that's them, eh? This is we call it respiratory. Them. Sometimes some people put ears also. Uh, ears can be a respiratory system in certain condition, eh? situation. So oral cavity, uh, nasal cavity, pharynx, larynx, trachea, bronchial tree, alveolar, lung, and then it is a respiratory system. Eh? It's just not the lower respiratory system. But sometimes what happens is that many of the time, the upper respiratory system will let the our colleague ENT or ORL manage it. Eh? We many some uh, many majority of our respiratory work is in the lower respiratory system. 
but respiratory system involve the upper and the lower. You know what divide the upper and lower? Everybody knows where is considered as upper, where is considered as lower respiratory system. Bronchus. Landmark, landmark. Anatomy landmark outside when you are outside. Yes, yeah. Hmm? You see or not your trachea in that? Yeah, in that there. Yeah, it, that's why the trachea in that we call it. Anything above is a upper respiratory. Anything below will be the lower respiratory. Yeah? Above is upper respiratory. Below. So one third of trachea is still in the upper respiratory. If you look here, trachea in that there. This is what you say the landmark to tell you upper and lower respiratory system because the effect of physiology, eh, mechanical mechanic physiology, difference between the upper and lower. Eh? Because one is outside the thoracic inlet, the thoracic uh, cavity, another one is inside the thoracic cavity. Whatever inside the thoracic cavity, we call it lower respiratory system. I will, whatever outside the, uh, the thoracic cavity is considered as upper respiratory system. So here, the release here, eh, where you see the you know, landmark here, the eh, inlet. Eh. So part of trachea still part of upper respiratory system. So upper respiratory tract includes eh, nose, pharynx, adenoid, tonsils, epiglottis, larynx and trachea. The lower will be the, the bottom, um, a two-third of trachea, bronchi, bronchios, alveolar ducts and alveoli. Eh? This is lower, this is upper. Eh? But when you examine, you have to know the surface marking. Eh? Okay, the surface marking is difference between the age. Eh? So I give you the roughly the idea in adult. Eh? But because children are a bit different. Eh? But give you some idea how to go about. Lah. You know the right side got upper, mid, lower look. The left side with upper and lower look only. Eh? Oblique fissure and fissure. You can see here is that eh? this is where the upper look until the fourth, well, fifth, and later will be the middle lobe, eh? and then six, seven will be the lower lobe, eh? and after seven, usually is uh, eight and below is the just empty cavity, eh? uh, uh, toxic, toxic, uh, no, cavity only, eh? which we need some to do with uh, inspiration, eh? and then at the posterior, at the let lateral, mainly is upper, little bit mid and lower, whereas the right left side is upper and lower only, at the posterior nearly the same, eh? upper, mid and lower, upper and lower only. Eh? So important to know is that when you are scouted, you know what, which load you are scouted. Usually when we are scouted, we divide upper, zone, mid zone, or lower zone. So when you are scattered on the left side, the upper zone, the, the upper and mid zone, uh, upper and mid zone usually is upper low. Eh? And the lower zone usually is a lower low. But posteriorly, yeah, the upper low, the, the upper low, the upper zone only is a upper low, whereas the mid and lower usually is posterior low, at all, uh, lower low. Eh? But then, in 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 right in, in right side right lung, usually the upper lobe is the upper zone will be the upper lobe, yeah? the mid zone the mid zone will be the lower lobe and part is upper lobe, and lower zone is the lower lobe. So when you ascate, you know what do you ascate? You just not ascate a lung, but you ascate you know your anatomically which lobe you ascate. Tell you that the finding is particular to mainly for that look. Eh? So you just don't just scatter it only. You know which zone, which look, which look you are scatter. Eh? So that is basically how eh, look of the lung. Hmm? You can see here. And then roughly give you some ideas. Eh? Yeah.
So when you examine your patient, you look around what is there with the patient. Eh? Is it nebulizer, medication, special food, mobility assistance device, hospital equipment, oxygen, fluids, center line also. All this tell you how bad the patient is, how the patient condition is. It gives you some ideas. Eh? And please listen these three things. Eh? Look and listen. Eh? Cough, wheeze, breathing difficulties, and the other thing is right now. Eh? Listen of this. Eh? In children, you look, eh? is there the child alert or uh, awake? Are they running around? They look ill or distressed, and who with the, to, with the child? Eh? You have to look. You have to look your own. When the patient only can walk through your door, by right, you already have you already observe them eh? and have some idea of your patient, how they are. When the patient walk through the door to notice that something, what is that in the patient? Especially got spray door or wheeze. You can already say, oh, this child, this patient got this respiratory problem. So the basic step clinical intervention is always eh, clinical history taking, eh, inspection, palpation, percussion, and escalation. Eh. It is the history eh, taking. You are not going to tell you how to do it, but some because I think you have to practice on your own. The more you clock the patient, the better. I think they will teach you how to clock. You had a session already, can? How to clock the pediatric patient? Have you had a session already? Yes, we ah. have. So, we're going to go to inspection, palpation, percussion, and escalation. And examination, this is the, the, uh, the step in your mind. Every time you want to examine patient, inspection, palpation, percussion, escalation, always a step. Though in children, you have to be opportunistic. Uh, opportunistic. You mean that like three years old, very irritable, very fretful child. Uh, sometimes you have to go inspection and direct to escalation to get the to be to get the opportunity because you know. Once the child is crying, you may not able to do the proper examination. But in your mind, in any situation, you have to follow the step. Right? Inspection, palpation, percussion, exploitation. Eh? But is in children, yes, eh? we 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 not very strict in terms of uh, following the step because you have to be opportunistic. And in children, we accept that. Eh? We accept that. Because it tell you how smart you are. If you know how to handle the children, you know which one to do. You from your look at the child, you know if I didn't escort this child, I wouldn't have a chance. So we know you are smart. We know that you you know what you are doing. Uh, it tell us you are smart. Eh? Because you see, if the child you go to inspect, suddenly you want to palpate the child's try, then that is it. Eh? You won't able to get your clinical finding. And we know that oh, this failure is unable to adapt. Eh? We need to learn. He has to learn more, eh? learn technique and practice to able, be able to adapt. So this, you know, how you approach your patient tells us how smart you are. Hmm? So as we said before examination, eh? uh, ensure you wash hand properly, eh? introduce yourself to the family, Important in children, you make a good report with your mother. You see, uh, the parent can, the child can sense. Oh, if you have good report with your mother, usually the child has the sense, can sense that you are a nice person. If you have, you know, they are with the mother already, you have some problem, usually this child will have sense and they won't allow you to examine. So never underestimate the importance of to have a report with a parents eh? because it gives you and furthermore the mother will be very helpful to calm the child so examination well you have to adapt eh? in unit young infant usually we ask them to examine multi table 
uh, uh, for the preschool, once the preschool, if they can lie down, it's okay, but it's not that easy. At many times, most of the time, they will face like the sitting on the mother's lap, eh? unless they are very ill. Adolescent, well, you can do as a, a, like an adult, eh? but in children, in to in an insurance, a toddler, even to the uh, to, uh, under six years old, sometimes uh, uh, under twelve years old, sometimes you uh, to especially the toddler, you have to examine on the mother's lap. Even in the ward also, uh, in the ward, sometimes you have to ask the mother to hold the child on the lap before you can examine. Uh, so you have really you when you see the child. You see, five years old, ten years old. Sometimes the ten years old behave like the uh, five years old. The five years old, sometimes you will be surprised. There are six years old child who are very cooperative, who let you examine the an adult. So you have to have a sense eh, of this child cooperative or not. That's why we always like you to inform us during examination uh, when you present to us the child is cooperative or not, the parent is cooperative or not. It tell us eh, how. How much uh, the, the the you can give some ideas? How much information you can get? But usually we know that uh, the parent are cooperative, but you make the parent uncooperative. We know that. Uh. So wash your hand properly. Mm. Clean up. Very important. Because you the one you the one who are transmit the disease to the child, to the patient, eh? and then always look general appearance, eh? Eh? exposed area needed. Eh? Some uh, in in unlike adolescent, you can expose properly. Children sometimes you have to play around, but please expose. Eh? Try to expose. Eh? Sometimes I found out because of uh, excuse, eh? excuse of like jaga patient malu ke apa ke, you don't want to expose the patient. So don't be like that. You are doctors, you need to find proper finding, you have proper to expose. Eh? Because you say, ah, oh, you don't want to expose because humidity. Eh? I, I, I disagree with that. For me, the more important is to get proper finding so that you make a proper judgment. Eh? Because they are always doctor and doctor and uh, patients ethics eh? and then usually when they trust you they allow you to touch them try to uh, ask parent undress the child rather than you undress the child because you know when the mother undress the parent, the child usually they're not eligible they're not faithful right eh? because that's what usually they do the parent the mother undress the child at home so when the parent undress I found out some you got undressed. So you see, when you want to open that already, the child should cry. But if the parent undressed, it, eh, then usually the, the, the child is um, more cooperative. So, eh, try to, uh, to is, I mean, ask parents to help you all. Eh, and then, exposure time, exposure time should be minimized. Eh? And then examine for the right side. Eh? Look at the posture, body position, body shape, skin color, any unusual behavior, pattern the child interaction, reaction to someone you enter into the room, you know, right? How the reaction, fat, skinny, rashes, scars. Ask tenderness anywhere before starting. Eh? You'll be surprised they can tell you. Eh? They would they many children can tell you where the tenderness is. Then, you know, in our country, we I would like examine the arm first, eh? because you some some place you can examine the head immediately, eh? because they don't feel it uh, culturally acceptable. Eh? But in our country, we don't like people to examine the head first, examine the lower upper limb first. Eh? Look as usual, eh? better sign with the pulse, BP, pallor, clubbing, peripheral sinusitis. Uh, tremor, flapping tremor, hands. Uh, is there any wrist tenderness, resting weakness, finger? Uh, this one this is for adult, like, really not involved. Eh? And then, you know, adult as well. Eh? 
due to zona. So this is the technique. Eh? Then plugging. Okay, uh, in children, uh, I know some 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 lecture like to do type one, type two, type. How many type of clubbing? You all know. Four. Okay, four and yeah, nah. mm -hmm. four. But I tell you one thing, lah. For people like me, if you are can identify clubbing, is enough. It doesn't matter for me what stage. Eh? If you are important to me is baby child is clubbing. Because if you are unable to identify clubbing, when the clubbing is obvious, you're going to fail. Hmm? You're going to fail. Eh? Because clubbing is very obvious sign. You cannot miss it. Very dangerous to miss it. Hmm? Clubbing. So you have to identify, able to identify the plugging. Eh? Sometimes eh, we, we ask you, uh, you examine the finger. What do we say? Uh, you still miss the plugging. Can you examine again? You, it means something. Eh? It means that, wow, why is it you ask him to examine again? Eh? And look for the plugging. Eh? The inspection, face, nose, throat, neck, hand, and correct inspection. Whenever you look, eh, up to down, eh, nose, to, uh, go down, go down, go down, eh, inspection. Eh. And then nose, pregnancy, septum, nasal flaring, very important this one. Eh. This one not so much, lah, eh. not easy to do in two years old, I can tell you. Adult probably you can do, but not in children. You want to slide, you want to slide, you try. Eh. This one is probably all difficult. Eh. But you can see nasal flooding, discharge, eh? you can you can see it. Eh? Sinus tenderness is really six years and above. Eh? You can already found the sinus tenderness. Eh? Below than six years is really you, you cannot find it. Eh? Throats, eh? teeth, color, lip, tissue, dryness, tongue, teeth, gum. Eh? And then tonsil, if you can examine the tonsil. Eh? Not easy to do in below six years old. And then, so also, but if the patient got stridor, eh, don't examine the throat. Control indication, eh? patient got stridor, eh? don't examine the throat. Sometimes you can examine the throat while you are ask the ENT to examine with you. Eh? Because very dangerous to look the throat if you are not familiar if patient got stridor. Eh? You can exaggerate the stridor and condition. Eh? Inspection, right? So the other thing you have to do is respiratory movement. Eh? Then look the rate, rhythm, depth, and quality. It's something that you all have to practice, lah. Eh? You see, uh, theoretically, I can say like this, but when you saw your patient, you already, you already fluent. Everything become automatically. The rate per minute, you calculate the rhythms. Irregular, irregular, uh, <coughs> periodic, <coughs> the depth, deep or shallow, the quality, all come automatically. Within a few seconds, you already know. Hmm? So look for the noisy breathing, grunting, and snoring. Asking for that. Eh? Sometimes snoring, you only notice the patient is sleeping. Hmm? But noisy breathing is something you have to look. Eh, grunting. Eh. Sometimes you don't know what is it. You can say the breathing is noisy. You're not sure what was that. Eh. So, respiratory rate. Usually the ratio 1 to 2, two eh, normally. There is normal respiratory rate according to the age. Eh. You have to memorize this one, of course. Eh. When it's upper limits. Usually we ask the upper limit. Eh. So, upper limits, eh. so, there is the breathing. Because the inspiration is the active, uh, the aspiration is passive. Eh? 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 It's an active process, we use a lot of energy. Aspiration is a gravity driven. Eh? So it doesn't lose a lot of energy. So you have to recognize a few abnormal breathing patterns, no choice. 
tachypnea increase the respiratory rate, bradypnea decrease the respiratory rate, but it's jarang we see in children eh, unless in a late stage, okay, so when the children are going, uh, going to die. Dyspnea, sensation of difficulty in breathing, eh? apnea, cessation of breathing. Eh? So this is disorder of respiratory rate, the one is pretty deep, eh? hypopnea, increased depth, hypoventilation, decreased depth, irregular rhythm, hyperventilation, increased rate. Okay. This one is more in adult. Okay. If you are children, no, it's there, but most of the time difficult to notice. Okay. But this one is what we expected from you. Yeah, respiratory rate. Firstly, we adult, especially muscle use, uh, that one you can see mostly in the children and adult, and type respiration. In children, less than six years, their respiration pattern will be abdominal. In adult, more in after six years, they are abdominally more more of uh, thoracic. But if you notice that twelve years old using abdominal pattern, something is not right. Especially patient with muscular disorder, mean that they are breathing using the abdominal muscle. Okay? But less than six years, you can see acceptable use abdominal muscle. Right? So the uh, respiratory pattern, seesaw, seesaw means that chest fall on inspiration, rest on expiration. Eh? This one you see in uh, respiratory failure. So small breathing, hyperventilation, gasping area, with the big coma, and other respiratory, mainly respiratory acidosis, eh? CO2 retention. Eh? And then in many upper, there are many cases of upper respiratory tract obstruction, and go malicia, go to kind of small breathing. Sinus stroke is different. Sinus stroke breathing is because brain stem normality. Eh? The breathing is uh, upper and stop, upper and stop when you do a sinus stroke. Eh? So inspection of anterior chest wall, the shape eh? best is as the mean lies to point, stand at the feet. Inspect the shape, eh? Eh? AP diameter or transverse diameter. Children, they have no particular ratio, but roughly you can tell you that increase AP ratio or not. You inspect the symmetry of the chest, very important because many patients with sinusitic heart disease, congenital heart disease, the chest is not symmetry. Any bulging eh, in perimal perifusion or retraction, collapse of the lung, and then shoulder inspect, uh, look also at the movement at the shoulder to tell you it's possible or fibrosis. And look for a trachea. Eh. Clear sign means that increase the normal short joint, eh, tell you that there is something wrong on that part, on that part of the lung. Eh. Check for the skin, swelling, scar, sinuses, skin eruption, and got green, and so on. Eh? This one, eh? and Hyson Sakai, very important. Eh? Hyson Sakai show that they are abnormal using of the uh, diaphragm. Eh? They tell you that the diaphragm is overused, and then it tells you that patient has chronic respiratory problem. Eh? They, they are got two symmetrical sakai horizontal at lower margin of anterior, anterior thorax, until anterior, uh, the digest, right? It tells you that they are overuse of diaphragm. And then this repetitive respiratory thickening of the costal control junction, very important this one. Hmm? Because I have to tell you is that in master's exam, they still show this case. Eh? And we still have this case, a few this case, if you go especially in uh, orang asli penempatan, eh? there is a repetitive rotary. It means that chicken of the junction. It tells you that the, the patient has vitamin D deficiency. Eh? So inspect the posture chest wall. Eh? If possible, the patient should be sitting. If you can do, doctor. Yeah. Sorry, ah, uh, saya nak tanya yang ah uh, rakitik rosary tu, kalau in physically kita nampak patient macam mana? Kita nampak hmm. macam hmm. macam waktu satu berbak dia punya dekat every costo atau uh, every joint, every 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 costo pondo junction tu, 
kan ada macam satu macam satu bengkak hmm? daripada apa ke lower daripada daripada apa daripada apa tu anti ke lower chest ha you just you just google dia memang ada dalam tu very nice tu kau kena jangan cerita tengok boleh nice kita of the city was sorry thank you doctor if uh, you do as thoracic upper spine and deformity eh for the inspect for the doc kyphosis you all know eh and also pd curvature of the spine especially an anterior posterior scoliosis curvature of the spine lateral eh inspect for the scar important to know kyphosis scoliosis because the shape of the chest tell you the shape of the lung hmm? tell you eh you see this one is pernal chest and eh? some the congenital pernal chest is a pigeon chest hmm? at the bellow shaped chest usually you saw it in obstructive or, or, or airway disease eh? example is bronchiectasis you eh? can see this one eh? bellow shaped chest long uh, severe asthma the AP diameter is high uh, prominent from the shape you know it's bellow it's bellow you are no better eh? pigeon chest eh? it can be, can be congenital and from the chest, chest can be congenital eh? and this is the factors perinatum this is a factor right it can be bone deformity or it can be also behind auto a lung deformity but many case is congenital right factors skeletal skeletal severe asthma can cause you factors right hmm? so this is the shape just for all right eh? Have seen Sakai something like this, eh? But it doesn't always like this. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, Sakai, eh? I mean, depression of the and the more anterior, eh? not like this, anterior of the lower part of the lower part of the chest wall, eh? Where the insertion of the diaphragm, eh? This is Sakai, eh? yeah. And is Sakai, eh? I mean, that it is depression, eh? What it tell you is that it tell you there is a overwork of the Different. Very important, eh? Because it doesn't sakai, especially like example, severe uh, chronic asthma, tell you that the lung is the diaphragm is overwork. I mean, if the patient got recurrent, recurrent uh, what, asthmatic attack, eh? they can have prominent uh, insertion of the diaphragm here, and then that result in the depression, eh? You can you can you can observe that. Eh? So net examination, faculty shift. Okay. In children, you may able to do, may not able to do. In children, usually you put one index finger, see, not two, eh, to at the both sides of the knee. See the compare. Usually our trachea slightly shift to the right side, eh, usually. Eh. And then uh, trachea tap is observation. If there any obstruction breathing, you can see the the movement of the uh, trachea behind posteriorly eh I mean that there is a uh, obstruction really upper area obstruction eh trachea tak eh and if leave note of the next eh you have to do leave note of the next also because it tell you uh, if there any because uh, leave note of the next where uh, the respiratory system uh, leave the system uh, uh, to drain eh palpit eh palpation palpit the upper zone first Yeah, you have to important for patient is ability to anchor the eh, your hand eh, 
to upper me and lower zone always to upper me and lower zone 2 4 and 6 eh both above 2 4 and 6 eh cause it tell you the the uh, what to the upper lobe mid lobe and eh? lower lobe okay eh okay difficult in children unlike adult you can see 2 cm and so on because children is a bit difficult because of uh, 1 cm in children that's it uh, in 4 years for 5 four years old can be significant but not significant in 12 years old so very difficult so you, if you ask me what the, the centimeter that's significant it, most of the time it depends on your experience eh? because you see sometimes even in the let's say 3 years old you letak finger you pun dah berlapis dah lah because the chest is small so do you do or you not doing so it depends you have to look if the child is 2 years old you think not the child will fretful you want to do you know you're going to get anything furthermore you how you anchor your hand and 2 years in and 1 2 years old when you anchor your hand you try to approximate the finger it cross already yeah it cross so they, they, so you have to children the challenge is to adjust then you talk, not talking like six years old, other than tall, other than short, because they were, they were variation of your, their development. So even what normal to the tall children, probably not normal to the short children. Eh? Because the chest size, the lung size depend on the, uh, on the height. So difficult to, that's why challenge the challenge in children is that to decide what's normal, what's not normal. So if you ask me, when we say significant, is it 0.5 centimeter, one centimeter? I cannot give you the answer most of the time. Very difficult and very dangerous to give you the answer. That thing you will quote, eh? uh, you would try, eh? uh, because different age and different height have different normality. So many times it depends on your experience. So, but even if you want to do, you not want to do, also it depends. Eh? Because as I said to you, as two years old, very fretful, you touch already, the child cry, how you want to do the chest go, uh, uh, palpation. The important is that you know how to do. If we ask you how to do it, you know how to do it. With the proper technique. Eh? So, palpation the chest wall. Eh? Sometimes you can palpate the pillow up. In, but in my lifetime, I only palpate the pillow rub once only. Hey, 26 years old, 26 years practice, only once I able to palpate the pillow rub. Eh? So, same, posterior wall, posterior also, you have to look for the anterior, posterior, and uh, to the upper, mid, and lower. Eh? It's how you have to anchor, very important how to anchor. Hmm? Anchor. This is this is more important. The anchor must be firm, and it does not slip when the chest moves. This is important, eh? The anchor. So you, you have to uh, palpate so the heart don't forget because the heart position tell you something is not right or right inside the lung. Some there are displacement of the heart, then you put, it can tell you that something is not right, not right. Costal vertebral tenderness also you have to look hmm? any photo any tenderness eh? so vocal formatus okay we go by theory yeah increase in consolidation cavitation collapse of main fracture decrease in feet chest wall if you feel the best word is nine 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 eh? because the you want the vibration nine 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 uh okay uh the thing is that uh can you ask the four years old to say nine 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 if you can do that i tabit lah eh? i mean you 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 can consult the authority early yeah you can feel because I, I don't know how to ask uh four years old three years old children to ask to say nine 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 eh? especially in nation I work in overseas, yeah, the many children who are even five years old, they pay cooperative. And children in, in Indonesia, they are not that cooperative. 
You can get them to say nine 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 nine. I respect lah. Eh? But the things that you know, it should be done. How it should be done? Eh? We are not going to particular. Eh? But if the child is, let's say, is sixteen years old, adolescent, or the child is already about uh, about two, more than twelve years old, cooperative, and very cooperative, we expect you to do full examination. Eh? But let's say it's five years old, four years old, uh, then we accept that it's not easy to be done. Eh? But important is you know when to be done and how to be done. Percussion. Okay, very important in percussion is technique. You have to practice. There's some there's no magic with that. Many of you are able, even you percuss major bone, you percuss chest bone, you 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 cannot differentiate because the technique is strong. Very important the technique. So if you focus everything surrounding you, your major, your scope, your your walls, semua ni kan, semua you you focus to beza tau, sound there, different. Eh? It means that your technique is good. If all the same, eh? you focus abdomen, you focus the chest, the technique is not good. Eh? The technique is like this. It have ninety degrees. Eh? It must fit the middle. And then it has to only move your this. That's all the technique. Eh? And then until you feel this one, your open skin is a bit hypertrophy, you feel like the basket. That's why when a doctor ni bila kita kita salam, dia rasa dia punya time to be itu tebal kat tebal tebal sikit, dia jumpa dia sini dia. Eh? You know that, oh this is the doctor lah, buat dia banyak bekas. Eh? Because here, you tell us here, eh? 90 degree, very important. You have to practice it has to be automatic with you. I mean that we practice, you have to the door, you have to the canvas, it's all different. Bunyi is different. Eh? I tell you that the technique is good. Because huh? your, your sound that goes through here is, is uh, very neat. Huh? And then with your technique, if, until you get the good technique, you will not able to appreciate it. Believe me. Huh? And then, Percussion, eh? okay. Percussion, yeah. In children, okay, you have to percuss. Firstly, you have to percuss from the. Uh, what to you compare left to right? Eh? You have to compare left to right. Hmm? You compare, eh? and then you compare up to down because percussion, you see, mid zone or lower zone can be different. The sound. Right? You compare to left and right, right and then you focus downward from each intercostal space up to down. Right? You have to focus. Okay, there's the thing here. In big in big children, you can you focus the bone here. Right? Sometimes you focus the part the, the right to left down the, the upper apical space, right? the supraclavicular, and you focus the clavicular bone. And you cast left and right, eh? compare, and then you cast down. Eh? That's how you want to optimize the technique. Eh? And then you have to differentiate with Wilson. Normal will be Wilson, eh? hmm? third all over the lobe of the lung. Eh? Wilson, eh? Liver downness, you have to able to appreciate liver downness at the foot of the cross space. Eh? Liver downness and cardiac downness, you have to differentiate. Second, the fifth. Eh? So the liver dullness is more dull than cardiac dullness. Eh? More dull. Eh? And then you have to, and then the fifth, tympanic, the air fills stomach. You have to focus. You have to, these three things you have to be able to differentiate. The normal is this one. So this is all normal. You have to recognize this. No choice. So the best is you focus your friends. That is, that is you focus your friends. Eh? Until you, you have to know the normal first before you can know the abnormal. No way you can learn immediately the abnormal. You have to know the normal first. What is normal? Then only you can appreciate what is abnormal. Eh? So to percuss, eh? you know the space. Usually you percuss. Uh, if bigger children, you can percuss here. Me, but sometimes more children not easy. Percuss left. 
compare left and right, eh? then after that you put cast down and down. Down, eh? Usually we use the instrument we just cast downwards eh? and then in video children you can do at video side at the mid auxiliary well line in video children small children tak payah lah eh nak 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 small children pun kalau dia dapat bekas pun alhamdulillah kalau dia bunyi bekas eh? many times tak bunyi and posterior in children we just bekas straight in bigger in small children we don't we 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 we, we don't we forget the uh, scapula bone if you have a small bigger children sometimes very deep yeah, then you can do the inter the space in between yeah. but most of the time we just focus yeah, down there yeah. just focus focus okay yeah. we forget about the bone wow apa benda ni banyak yang nampak ni. Yang nampak benda apa ni? Nampak. Apa apa dah tahu apa? Okay. So, what is the nature of the border of the liver? Eh? And then you have to recognize the age will be different macam 0 to 6 one two finger bila uh until uh, 6 to 24 one finger below the root case. 2 plus is really not preferable already eh? but still probably will often can be normal in children eh? remember that eh? but you have to realize that the upper limit of the liver eh? so if the liver is lower than expected then you can say that the liver is this case hyper expanded of the lung eh? the pathological dullness can be due to pneumonia Hydrothorax, hemothorax, pulmonary edema, and or lung or medicine tumor. Eh? Then the the what to the hyper resonant can be eh? emphysema, cavern the lung, excess hemothorax, uh, asthma, then asthmatic bronchitis. This is what you can hear. Eh? Hyper resonant. Eh? You mean that there is a dilated alveoli eh? or lot of air inside. And then so you can see this resonance here. Hmm. The cardiac downer, as you can see, is different. Some part is dull, some part is dull. And then you see the liver downer. And then there is the symphony, where is the, you see the stomach. You have to practice, eh? no choice. Eh? Then, same. Eh? In, 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 in children, most of them just to cast straight downward. Eh? even above the bone. That's why sometimes you feel the bit dull here. Eh? So resonance, normal, hyper resonance, abnormal. It means that there is a hyper infected lung, a lot of air. Dullness in panic usually is a gas stomach, uh, uh, empty quality, hurt over gas still stomach. Dull, uh, dull is you hurt. Really there is a uh, Consolidate tissue, lung tissue, eh? or fluid field. If fluid fills the space, it got stony dullness. Eh? Very stony. You not know, you dust stone, you, you percuss the stone, and it percuss the place. You can see the much different. Eh? Okay. Let's go auscultation. Auscultation is, uh, it's not as simple as you think. Eh? The best is patient relax, breathe normally with mouth open, auscultate uh, to the lung. Eh? So we did the best. The, the, the important is you must able to discern air entry. If you if the patient take very little air entry, you can dengar apa-apa. Yeah? Just like in children, kalau you dengar, mungkin tak ada apa-apa you dengar. Tapi budak tu sebenarnya dia takut dia tak, dia tak bernafas atau dia nafas, nafas sikit-sikit saja. You have to decrease air entry. Of course, it is because you don't want to cut out air movement. Jadi, if you want a scatter, listen a scatter, you must able to listen to hurt the air entry, air movement. If not, no point. Yeah? You don't know what you are going to ask. Yeah? And then, you have to use proper stethoscope for both children. Very important. You use very big stethoscope right, for the big, small children. 
you will your finding will be because there are so many outside because when you put the stethoscope it cover all your lung already so what you listen is not that particular place all the transmitted sound because the chest wall of the sugar are small even the transmit from the other side from the right side and transmit to the left left side transmit to the right side you dengar ANP okay tapi sebenarnya there is a consolidation but what you heard is that ANP from the other side of the lung that's why very important to use a proper size stethoscope you use very small stethoscope for the bigger children you tak dengar apa-apa because very uh, to the the air movement is obstructed eh? blocked by the by the uh, what by the structure organ there you dengar macam tu sikit ya nanti tapi semua nanti okey tapi pakai small you pakai unit ni size untuk be untuk untuk children ah uh, you got you know the kids and then you miss a lot of the uh, uh, every, uh, uh, other sound hmm? so listen at least one complete is to cycle is right okay listen quiet is to be Okay. If it are audible, if you don't hear, you need to take a breath. Take a breath, take a breath. And then, you, will you describe, please describe the sound of you, or describe the adventitious sound, right? And then, <coughs> uh, many of the time, I don't, uh, as the, the, what to, the NT equal. That's all. Right? Because, I'm able to appreciate NP adequate not adequate. Just equal saja, many of the time. It's not good, eh? So we want to you to able to decide the NP is good or not good, eh? And then assess length on expression, expression, kaya boleh, eh? Note intensity of the breath sound. Listen the pulse between the inspiration and expression, quality of the fish sound. Compare the intensity of breath sound, upper and lower chest, yeah? Compare intensity of breath sound dependent top lung to zen and zen of the other sound, avitation sound. Eh? So you have to ask that. Okay, the, okay, eh? Uh, okay, so you you have to able to decide to really a vesicular or bronco vesicular sound. Eh? Very important. Vesicular breath sound is you heard the entire surface of the lung. Vesicular, it means that the air is inside every line. The movement is inside the every line, small AV. Eh? Vesicular, the vesicular. Eh? vesicular. We define as where the every line are. So it's small AV and it expected the breath and the air and the into the vesicular. Eh? vesicular. Bronchial breath sound, bronchial vesicular breath sound is heard where because they are involvement of the bronchus. Eh? You know bronchus, large airway, eh? large airway. Eh? So, eh? like usually you listen at multiple skinny upper interspolar region where the breathification or large airway. Eh? It tell you that the bronchus breath sound. Eh? So, hmm? need complicated state to breath sound. Yeah. So you see, there is a vascular breath sound. Hmm? Inspiration, expiration.
It's a very nice fine sound, eh? It's your lung feeling. Yeah. And then it is also the song which we are talking about the lips there. You notice there? So the bronchial breath sound eh, found over the trachea, supostinal nose. Eh? And then absent or diminished breath sound, abnormal finding bronchial. Eh? No breath sound is mean that there is a abnormal finding. Eh? Fluid air. Solid mass in plural space all interfere with the conduction of the breath sound. Eh? So pneumonia, pneumothorax, hydro hem, eh, hemothorax, tumor, lung, medicinal, fancy mouth, the lung, electrophysis, you know, uh, area of suction, all result in the abdominal breath sound. Eh? Diminished breath sound, a certain segment of the lung can alert the doctors and to pulmonary area that may benefit from post I mean, different line. We need to be discussed later about the pathology. But all this can affect the breath sound, eh? A and T. So, uh, voice, some, uh, then the, the calling part of uh, vocal, uh, what uh, 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 Oh, vocal resonance. Eh? Vocal resonance is rarely done in children nah, because it's not easy for them to ask them to put 9999. Nine, 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 eh? But if you can do in adult, uh, bigger children is fine. Eh? Because it's nice, you can, you can, because if vocal resonance increase or you heard something that whisper to ears or bronchophony or go and something about to, uh, you, you very sound very near to you, very increase, it means that there is a Consolidation, eh? I tell you, a decrease. It mean that it is a fluid. Eh? If there difference, local. You ask a tick. You ask after you put nine 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 nine. You ask a tick. You listen nine nine nine. It can different shape. The bottle. The they can show the abnormality. It help you a lot to decide the pathology. So the breathing pattern is tachypnea, eupnea normal, the bradley, the apnea, hypopnea. The increase in the, okay, the deepen of the respiratory, can stop, there is a brain stem of normality, the, the breathing stop, the breathing stop, eh? Bio, it's up, uh, this one is expanded media, it's not much different, you cannot differentiate between it very much. Eh? Really, I put sign stop everything. So small, this means that metabolic uh, acidotic breathing, eh? and this uh, brain stem really it, I mean that there is a uh, the end stage of the brain is like for you, eh? How long is the phase you talk to them to face, eh? This one you can notice, you know, with this thing you try to notice, this one you try to notice, eh? With this one you must notice. Like if you, know, you not notice like if you, know, you fail, finish. If you did, cannot differentiate hypopnea and like you know, in children it's okay, as long as you know it's like it, yeah. eh? But if you can put hypopnea, so you good lah, you boleh, boleh join me jadi respiratory position in children eh. Sehapapnya, it's not easy to look in children eh. In children ni. Sehapapnya eh. But takibnya, you have to look. Everybody when they are, they are going, they going to, we, when they have, they have to go out, they must recognize the takibnya eh. So recession, belum finding, what belum finding you to look at recession eh. Recession can be because in pediatric recession is very common because of, of the compliant chest wall. Eh? Unlike adult, adult the chest wall rigid, but in children they are very compliant. So recession is very common in children. 
recession eh? intercostal recession eh? supraspinal recession eh? and also the infrastructural recession very important eh? recession two recession eh? intercostal supraspinal eh? and then infrastructural eh? subcostal sometimes we call it subcostal recession eh? very important you must recognize that and if you not recognize that after you become horseman usually we're not going to let you go yet Hmm? Definitely, we're going to ask you for for posting at this month. Stray dog, very important. You must recognize. Eh? Stray dog, you don't recognize. We're not going to let you go. Wish, you must recognize. Wish, you not recognize. You fail in your, your in medical student. Guarantee you're going to fail. You do not wheezing. You say we give you a smart test. You're unable to recognize wheeze. You fail. Hmm? Grunting, grunting is. Well, usually it's I mean a, a very bad thing already. I mean the child has to produce its own teeth in order to maintain the airway to ever lie open up. So it's a it's a bad sign. Eh? Using the SSP muscle usually related to the recession. Where you use SSP muscle, yeah. gasping I mean is really bad. I mean the end stage already, and then when you are started, your crackles, rails or cracks. In Malaysia, kita pakai apa? Traps, eh? I put here because certain book, eh? Use crackles or rails, eh? Especially the US book. But in Malaysia, we make a standard pakai therapy session. So, senang. Jangan yang pakai cracker atau rails. Kita pening kepala, eh? Dia tahu kan, spread out apa? Eh? Spread out Dia Yes, spread door. Eh? Wis is the spread door means upper airway. Wis is the lower airway. Eh? And for now, doing aspiration, eh? it means the lower airway. All tell you that the airway, the air turbulence. There is there is an airway obstruction. And eh? this lower airway is upper airway. Grunting tell you that the child need to using as uh, using attempt to keep the distal area open eh? we post we increase the peep eh? grunting very important because you miss this one the patient, baby go, uh, the patient going to die after a few hours eh? so crabs eh? is result to safe air through fluid or moisture eh? because the changes is it changes in pressure eh? you got crabs eh? Eh, they got many types of crack, fine cracks, medium cracks, coarse crack, whatsoever lah eh. Okay, if you can differentiate, oh, got fine capitation, there is a coarse capitation, eh. medium tak payah pakai sangat lah, in a very high level eh. It's good, eh, if you can differentiate that, eh, and in adult it's easy to differentiate, in children also sometimes you can differentiate. But, for us, at your level, you must able to say there is a, Repetition during the inspiration or expiration. Very important. You can you can you can tell us there is a cost crack. Wow, very good. Fine crack or fine crack. You don't have fibrosis. Yeah, a cost crack. Usually there is a uh, in the auto. Uh, uh, what to there is uh, what to uh, in in certain pneumonia. Then you can discern the cost cracks. Yeah? But doesn't matter. Hmm? Ronkai, you have to ask out it, you might listen to Ronkai. Ronkai, you can, sometimes you can hurt Ronkai eh, during the, without escalation to the mouth, eh, the child having Ronkai. Eh. Wheeze, you call it wheezing. Eh, wheezing. Eh. When you ask out it, you call it as a Ronkai. Eh. When you listen, when you hurt to the ears, you call it wheezing. Yeah, the wheezing lah. Ah, the child have wheezing. Ronkai is a ronkai. There are many types, but you have to, what you need to know is ronkai. There is an inspiratory ronkai or expiratory ronkai. That's all. Where is it? In own lung field. Eh? Ronkai tell you that there is lower airway obstruction, small airway obstruction. Eh? Ronkai. Eh? So, common condition finding in expiratory examination in children. Eh? So in bronchitis, eh, example, eh, or bronchitis, eh, 
Labor breathing, hyperinflation, recession, hyperresonant, wrong percussion, fine complication, wheeze, knee bronchitis, eh, wrong bronchitis, eh. Ah, then the info about RSV, routine line infection, eh, knee bronchitis, eh. Pneumonia, uh, reduce entry on the expected, uh, reduce chest movement on the affected side, rapid shallow breathing, eh, percussion down, decrease local uh, perimeters. You have the complication on the where is it? Is it lobar in the lobe or is it a generalized complication in a bronchopneumonia? Hmm? Asthma, reduce but upper inflated uh, chest, uh, reduce air movement, chest movement, reduce but upper inflated chest. Using sensory muscle, hyacinth sarcai is chronic. Uh, Ascultation uh, can be, cushion can be uh, upper resonant. Ascultation, law of bronchi. Uh, Really put wrong kai, eh? wrong kai, eh? ah, wrong kai. CF, cystic fibrosis, upper inflated, upper resonant on the cushion, and then inspiratory capitation, straight ease, flooding, as a polyp on the examination. You see, different find, pathology finding can give you different uh, clinical finding. Eh? The chest movement, percussion, exploitation, and info, eh? all this different. Eh? You can easily give you an example. Eh? So, in the job, you see, you must able to interpret your finding. This is what we expected you. On the third year, you have to able to find the finding. Eh? And then to interpret some of the finding. But in the final year, you must able to interpret. You don't able, you're not able to interpret, you're not able to pass. Hmm? You must able to interpret the finding in final year. That is something, no choice. Eh? You have much to improve your Reduce ductal vocal perimeter, reduce chest infection, stony dullness, reduce air entry, no added sounds, reduce vocal resonance. Consolidation, increase ductal vocal perimeter, reduce expansion, dull percussion, bronchial breathing, cause capitation, increase vocal resonance, then whispering, spectroculopia dalam, we have to, uh, vocal resonance. Eh? This consolidation. Eh? Pneumothorax. Can be directed trachea, not always. Reduce textile vocal perimeter, hyper resonance, reduce ANT, reduce vocal resonance. Collapse, directed trachea, trachea goes to the side of the collapse. Eh? This one trachea direct to the side of the uh, to go against the side of the motorax, it goes to the side of the, of the collapse. Eh? Reduce tactile vocal perimeter, down and percussion, reduce ANT and capitation collapse. Eh? So different, different pathology, different finding. Fusions, water, consolidations, yeah? pneumothorax, collapse, yeah? and then all those things. Yeah. But you have to realize that yeah? uh, in children, you may not able to find all these findings. You may able to find only this, uh, reduce total worker from it, uh, to, uh, down and percussion, reduce ANT, maybe traps, that's what you can find. Or you can find only reduce uh, entry, uh, well, the entry, what to happen about resonance, it's able to percuss, <coughs> directed trachea, that's all you can find. So in children, more challenging because usually you cannot find all the findings. Eh? But it doesn't matter. You must able to interpret and give your differential and you can argue which one, which one, which one. Is it collapse? Is it pneumothorax? Is it consolidation? Is it a plural equation? You must be able to, able to give your argument on that. If you're able to reach this one, it means that you have already reached your clinical skill that we expected you to have. Eh? The clinical skill that we expected you to have. Very important. This is the clinical skill that we expected you have. Eh? Okay. Usually, eh, I will show if, if, if last time what happened is that uh, if you are here, I will select one of you to be a, to be a, 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 to be a patient that are going to show the examination in which we do it, we, uh, we finish it with pretty examination within 10 minutes. You can do all this within 10 minutes. Do you believe or not believe? Hmm? Within 10 minutes, you can finish it all day. Within 5 minutes, 10 minutes, I can finish it all day. This all thing, eh, 
imagine i mean you 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 seem to be a lot but yeah, you can do it within 10 minutes hmm? your your training then when you when you are good you can interpret everything in 10 minutes or so hmm? that's why showcase how long showcase per case hmm? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Okay, because by ten minutes, you have to have that skill to examine the respiratory examination, to interpret the respiratory examination, and make and do a some discussion of it. Ten minutes. Hmm? It can be done. Nothing impossible because you know why. People who have before you already done it. Majority can do it. Hmm? So, if they can do it, why can't you all do it? Majority of them do it within 10 minutes. Any question? Uh, any question? No. No question. No question, minute you know everything lah. Can. Hmm? To read it again. Huh? Need, uh, need time for memorize all those things. <sighs> you think I will memorize it? You can remember it, but the most important it has to be part of you. Once it becomes part of you, you what is it? You need to remember it when it becomes part of you. Why? Why is the key? Why the most important? To to practice. Okay, into the passion. Most important to practice. No matter you good at. The more you practice, the better you are. That's all. You may be intelligent, you may be smart, you may be whatsoever. Tapi those who practice ten times and those who practice five times, those who ten times will get better than first time. You know, it doesn't matter how intelligent you are. Because it's still, as long you know what you can, so apa ke, jadi you can, you can dapat lagi pandai. Okay. 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 Tiga hari bulan lapan. Tak apalah. Banyak buku tak mandi lagi tu. Ya, kalau buku tak mandi lagi, ada buku yang mandi semua. Ha? Semua ha? orang dah mandi. Rahsia, Doktor. Ha, Tahu lah anak saya dia belajar bahasa dia tu macam tu lah. Dia atas katil. Dia ni tu tak mandi apa yang dia duduk atas katil. Macam dia apa yang belajar atas katil. Okay. Doktor, ha. nak tanya, boleh ke kita buat respiratory examination waktu baby tengah tidur? Boleh. Boleh je lah. Boleh, When you are still, you can do examination at any time. Okay, let's ask. Doktor, oh. tadi uh, liver span tu um, macam mana uh, budak dia berapa? Tadi kan kita palpit dia dia punya Saya macam ni, kalau ada orang cakap liver span 3cm, 4cm You tanya pada, pada doktor yang beritahu you tu Berapakah liver span <coughs> untuk 2 tahun, untuk 6 tahun, untuk 12 tahun Faham? Huh? Um dan untuk 18 tahun. Tanya je. Apa dia berspan untuk 2 cm? Uh, apa dia berspan untuk 2 tahun, 6 tahun, 12 tahun, 12 tahun. Kalau ada yang boleh beritahu, saya tabik lah. Saya hmm? pun tak hafal. Hmm? So, sebab tu dalam children, kita orang jarang pakai dia berspan. Children. Because satu lah budak tu 6 tahun Tapi satu tu dia Satu lah tu 20 cm Seorang tu dia 80 cm Lain pula liver span dia Tinggi dia 
Sebab tu kalau you I, 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 I tak pernah juga spam I cuma nak tahu dia punya Berapa dia punya Bawah Daripada sub costal margin Dalam one finger or two finger atau one centimeter hmm. I kalau siapa lecturer pakai liver span I tanya dia direct Two centimeter berapa liver span uh, Kata kata dua tahun berapa liver span Enam tahun berapa liver span Dua belas tahun berapa liver span So I pun tak ingat hmm? Yang ada pakai liver span ni uh, Ultrasound, ultrasonis Because sebelah dia Dia ada Lepas tu liver span according to the age and height Dari sebelah dia Dia ingat semua tu eh? dia, dia, dia pun tak ingat tapi dari sebelah dia tu Dia punya apa tu uh, Norm dia Jadi dia tahulah liver span tu okey tak okey Tapi kalau ada clinician yang boleh buat pakai liver span in children Memang saya tabik lah Saya hmm? tahu ada orang ajar pakai liver span Tapi apa pelik Sebab uh, 20 tahun saya tak pakai liver span tak ada masalah Ini ada question Doktor okay. Sebenarnya ah. kalau splenomegaly pun Oh sorry doktor, ni walaupun bukan respiratory <laughs> Saya nak tanya je, kira kalau baby splenomegaly pun Kita sebenarnya tak perlu ada span apa, tak perlu ada correct uh, measurement lah Kena, you kena tahu what is below the subcoaster margin Okay That is the size that you tell, it tell you roughly the size What is the size, liver also What is the size below the subcoaster margin eh? In the exam, we make sure that below the subcoaster margin How many centimeter dah tulis eh? Tapi kita, kita orang tak pernah tulis liver span eh? Tapi dalam below subcoaster margin, berapa centimeter Spleen pun Spleen ni once you are palpable, immediate spleen is three times bigger than the normal spleen Okay Okay, okay. anything else? Okay. Okay. Dah habis ni kan? Doktor mana? Doktor Clara kan? Thank you Doktor Thank you Doktor Lift-lift